In this edition of Weirdos and Oddities of the Internet, McAfee underscore 45 and N Suerte, the type of people Elon Musk was referring to when he said he wanted to get rid of fake bots and accounts, but it's a complicated issue as these are real people acting fake and like bots. First off, they are definitely weird, but not so odd as discussed in this post, which happened to be on my feed when N Suerte followed my account. That's how crazy this, like, these people will say that they'll say, yo, I'm gonna pray for you, and they won't even pray for you. Won't pray. They just no. say, like, they won't even, they won't even like your picture, let alone trying to help you would not even like a post on an account they decided to follow McAfee underscore 45 and N Suerte are guilty of that. See my profile? It clearly says I am not looking for followers as much as helpers. There are various reasons for that, but one is because I'm currently fighting a felony charge that is partially based on the opposite of what you usually hear about in using an artist's work as evidence against him in a trial. In my case, the prosecution is basically arguing that my social media account does not exist, that I have never said I was looking for help or explained what was going on. Somehow, with all the cases you hear about in the media where they've used social media posts as evidence, in my case, they are trying to deny my social media posts exist. So doing things like McAfee45 underscore has done in that I know she's well aware of it would be inappropriate to follow my account or en suerte. So who knows why he followed my account or if he even read the bio information that has real world, real life implications and it is harmful. I wrote McAfee45 and DM asking her if she could just please let me know why she followed my account and has not commented or otherwise interacted with my accounts. I have still not received a reply. And suerte, I'm saying it now. It's not complicated. Look at the accounts McAfee underscore 45 follows and who follows that account. There's little to no indication why she would feel it's appropriate to follow my account. What she's done and continues to do, it is not helpful. It is harmful and I want to avoid it continuing to happen with her or anyone else. And suerte, that account even more, I'd appreciate an answer as to what made them hit that follow button. My most viral post at the moment discusses a very personal story, and I can't imagine what would make anyone follow me from reading that post, as it is. But especially to do so and not comment on anything else is baffling. So as much as they're acting like bots, it does seem these are real people behind those accounts. And suerte, in my experience, that's not an autofollow or a bot script. Based on hashtag usage, McAfee45 saw me on a live stream and then decided to follow my account. So it's extremely odd for her to fear or hesitate answering as to why she did that. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the weirdest, McAfee underscore 45 is beyond a 10. She's extremely odd. Maybe someone using fake stolen pictures from someone else's profile. And suerte, I say, is in the middle. It's ex it does seem extremely odd for him to follow my account. But also... That just looks like it being the profile of someone who is extremely weird and odd. At the very least, feels they need to hide something by using a private account. So that's it for this edition of Weirdos and Oddities. I like to not have to post these, but there are a lot of type of these people and accounts on the internet, and it's likely they're wrecking havoc somewhere else as well. And if not, it's as simple as just letting me know why the fuck they were following my account, and just like that, they're not so weird and odd. But until then, know that it's a decision these people have made not to help those they follow. This post is fundamentally different than the majority of social media posts. I'm not looking for followers or to go viral, more than to document and share what's occurred and find help. This is not for entertainment purposes only. The mother of my child was diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder, and since then people have been acting like I am the crazy one. All the friends and family I've had stopped communicating with me for reasons unknown to me, except my mother, who is either crazy or purposely trying to ruin my life and that of my daughter. The most similar example of what's happened to me I'm aware of is the Twilight Zone TV show episode titled Person or Persons Unknown. I've lived through, and at the time of this being posted, am living through a real-life version of that episode. When possible, links to the Refer to Twilight Zone episode and other related content is provided. This post is a documentation and reaction to gaslighting, deceit, manipulation, and misinformation that the people discussed may or may not be intentionally participating in. As such, please keep comments relevant, clear, and concise if you feel compelled to comment. Helpful information and actions appreciated. Follow if you think you can help. However, ghost followers, accounts, or comments that are perceived as trolling may be deleted and blocked, and you may be featured in a post.